In June 2023, Tudor surprised us with another new release. This time, it is not a Black Bay, but instead, Tudor released a new edition under their FXD lineup, which Tudor called the Alini Red Bull Racing Edition. The new FXD comes in a 42mm case. It is 12.75mm thick, and it has a luck to luck distance of 52mm. I believe most of you are familiar with the Moonwatch, so for comparison purpose, I have put the FXD next to the 2021 Omega Speedmaster Professional, which is also in a 42mm case, so you can see it for yourself. Houses within the case is the Tudor in house cost certified movement, MT5602 and it has roughly 70 hours of power reserve. The FXD has a 120-click bi-directional 60-minute countdown bezel. It has a screw-down crown, and it is water-resistant up to 200 meters. Now, let's address the elephants in the room. What makes this FXD so special is the case material. The case of this new FXD is made out of black carbon composites, and to do apply a matte finish on the case. The matte finish is actually quite different to the brush finish, as you can't really see the brush line on the case. This is actually really interesting to look at, and I would highly recommend you to check it out in person if you can. The bezel and the crown are actually made out of titanium, but the bezel insert is again made out of black carbon composite. This Red Bull Edition FXD has pretty much the same specifications as the standard FXD. They are both simple time-only watches. They have the same movement, the same water-resistant level, and even the same countdown bezel. So how is this new FXD any different to the normal FXD? I'm glad you asked. First, the material to the use is different. This Red Bull version is technically a two-tone watch, as it is made out of both titanium and carbon composites whereas the standard FXD is fully made out of titanium. Before I handled the new FXD in person, I really thought it would be a super light watch given the use of carbon material. To my surprise, the new FXD wasn't as light as I thought in real life. Whilst I didn't have the standard FXD with me to compare on the day, I thought the two watches would actually wear and feel very similar on wrist. The case back of the Red Bull Edition and the standard model is also different. The new model has the Red Bull engraving on the case back, whereas the standard version has the Marine National engraving. You will also notice that the rehot on the new FXD is also a bit different. It says Alini Red Bull Racing, spanning across from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. I think this is a really nice touch, as it reminds the owner that this is a special edition without making it super obvious like printing the Red Bull logo on the dial or something. There are also some changes in the color scheme. The new version has a darker shade of blue compared to the standard version. Tudor also added dashes of red color in the Red Bull FXD. This new version has a red second hand to match with a red Pilagos text, as well as red lining on the strap. Whereas the standard model only has white text to match with the white hands and the white markers. And of course, the color of the case is also different. The new FXD has a black case thanks to the carbon composites, whereas the standard FXD has a dark steel tone from the titanium. The strap design is also different. The Red Bull Edition has a plain fabric strap with a red lining at the edge of the strap, whereas the standard FXD has the classic Tudor fabric design with a single silver line running across the entire strap. Speaking of straps, it is important to point out that the Red Bull Edition FXD only comes with a single fabric strap, whereas the standard FXD comes with two straps. You will get both the fabric strap and the rubber strap with your standard FXD purchase. In terms of price, I was surprised to find out that the Red Bull Edition is actually cheaper than the standard model. Perhaps it was partly driven by the fact that the Red Bull Edition doesn't come with an extra strap. At the time of filming, the new Red Bull Edition FXD is priced at £3,070, and the standard FXD is priced at £3,420. 
This means that the Red Bull Edition is actually £350 cheaper than the Standard Edition, or roughly 10%. Now, let's talk about what I like about this new release. First, I really like the direction that Tudor is going with the use of exotic material. I really like that Tudor is pushing the envelopes by creating a new FXD using black carbon composites. This is similar to how Tudor released a fully bronze Black Bay 58 and the silver Black Bay 58, which to me is quite a bold move already. But releasing this FXD in carbon composites is another level. I honestly haven't seen many brands taking this direction before. If you can recall, Tudor first used titanium in its Pilagos lineup, and its bigger brother Rolex soon followed suit and released a few titanium watches, including the Deep Sea Challenge and the Yardmaster. I wonder if Rolex would also start making carbon composite watches in the future if this Tudor FXD turns out to be a hit. Another thing I like about this release is the collaboration with Red Bull. I haven't seen many collaboration releases from Tudor in the past. On top of my head, I can think of the Harris Black Bay, which I think was an excellent release. I also like the way how Tudor incorporates the collaboration in this watch. The use of the red second hand, the red tags, and the red lining on the strap gives a subtle hint on the Red Bull color without making it too over the top. The Red Bull tags on the Rehot is out there, but it is done very tastefully. You really need to know what to look out for in order to see it, which I really like. The most obvious logo is probably the Red Bull engraving on the case back, which is only reserved for the owner of the watch to admire. I much prefer having the logo hidden like Tudor has done here, as opposed to say making the DAO to shout Red Bull. I usually don't like collaboration pieces because sometimes brands overdid it by making it too obvious and too loud but I think Tudor has done a really good job in this department on this new FXD. Another thing I really like about this new FXD is the bicolor material used in the watch head. As I've said before, the bezel insert and the case are made out of black carbon composites, whereas the bezel and the crown are made out of titanium. This gives the watch a very nice two-tone look and makes it a bit more interesting to look at. Now, Let's move on to the bit where I'm not too sure about, and that is the color scheme. To me, the new FXD looks a bit too boring for my taste. Whilst the dark carbon color goes quite well with the dark navy blue dial, I think the watch looks a bit too dull to me. I also don't particularly like the red second hand. Because the rest of the watch is kind of dark, the red second hand comes across too loud and it draws all of my attention straight to it as soon as I look at the watch. I don't know about you, but the second hand is not something I usually look at when I wear my watch, so drawing my attention to the second hand doesn't make any sense to me personally. If the new FXD is not for you, but you are considering other new releases by Tudor, check out my hands-on review on the other popular releases by clicking on one of these videos. Cheers.